Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ninja Duper Fire and welcome back to Nemoria episode 16. So, this is going to be an awesome episode because we're going to do stuff that's like going to blow your mind. Now, it may not actually blow your mind, but it might blow mine um, because we're just going to get some, some things sorted out that have just been, it's been pecking in the back of people's minds. And I want to apologize, uh, but sometimes I record episodes like in a batch, so I'll record maybe two or three, and then I won't be able to take in the advice that you leave in the comments. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that's that's a bit of a shame, but that's just sometimes the way that it happens. And um, you can see here we've we've actually built up this floor um, and this sort of separate area. The sun has risen. Okay, so that's a that's a pretty cool thing to to happen. You know, I mean, it happens every day, but it's quite a quite a special thing. You don't really sit down and talk about how special it is. I mean, you know, what if it doesn't happen tomorrow? You know, that'll be a big deal. But if it if it just happens routinely every single day. No, no one's gonna talk anything about it. Okay, so that's just... I don't know why I'm talking about that. It's just the most ridiculous thing that I could um, even think of. We're actually gonna want to remove... Um, remove this ramp. Actually, both of these ramps. And then and get that re... Um, rebuilt up with some, some sweet walls. Especially the stone walls, because... Um, we don't want these flimsy, flimsy dirt walls just to be hanging around. Um, oh, a yak is born! That's fantastic! Stone wall, okay, so we need to zoom down and then block that in. And then we should be able to um, just have, oh, that, that corner's not going to get done um, because you actually have to think about sometimes um, how things are going to get built and what order they're going to be built in. So that's a bit of a shame. Um, I'm actually going to cancel, oh, damn it. I couldn't cancel that quick enough, but maybe that block will get built. I'm not too sure. Um, we're going to cancel that because it's just going to just going to remain a bit a bit messy for now. Um, of course, we've got dead people here, dead goblins, and things like that. And I've actually got to I've got to keep this a bit. Hmm, I got to clean up some of these farms a bit. We got to keep. We we actually got to um, harvest like a whole bunch of stuff because um, people have let me know that. Um, there has been, um, not there has been, what am I talking about? There, there will become a time, um, fairly shortly, where winter, winter will come. So, you know, if you've watched Game of Thrones, winter is common. And you've got to, you've got to get your stuff together. And you can't just go, you know, being, being a retard all the time. Like, like I tend to do, um, a majority of the time. Um, we've actually got a soldier here that's being quite cool there. Um, he's actually, all oh, people are actually putting food into the soldier stockpiles, which is awesome to see. Um, the soldiers are going to have a bit better, a bit better chance at, at getting their stuff without having to run everywhere. But having said that, yes, the winter, the winter is coming. It's going to be incredibly cold. Um, maybe I should build a roof. Nah, the axe probably wants sun. We don't want to, we don't want to sort of segregate them, make them, make them feel all strange. You know what? This is, this is starting to bother me and I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to make a ramp. Um, we'll just make it a, a dirt one. I'm gonna have to make a ramp to come up to here and that in that direction um, and then finish that block because that's just getting on my nerves. Uh, I think I'm gonna get a little bit more OCD because some people have um, they've said, oh you know you've got to you got to clean things up a little bit and I'm thinking I probably should shouldn't I? I mean you know like so sometimes you just being clean and neat and tidy. Oh, look at all this milk that's just like mm, 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 oozing out of the <laughs> out of the yak's um, teats or whatever you want to call them. Teat, teat, teats. Just keep saying that word. It won't won't be an awkward time for us because oh my god, these apples. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. Okay, so we're gonna want to forage like so much stuff. Um, in winter, I don't know if the lakes freeze over. I don't think they should. There's a possibility they might. We do have. Mm, we should need some more drink. I need to order up some more drink. I've actually, I've actually suspended this. Um, let's put this back up to about three or four. Yeah, we'll put that at four. Um, wine. We do have beer, so we can create some beer now. We want to take um, wine off repeat um, and craft, let's say, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then, like the rest of it, beer, because we haven't got enough beer. Um, a lot of people might want beer, and we do have a lot of wheat that's just sitting inside here, and the wheat farm's going pretty well. And in fact, having said that, I kind of need um, some more sacks and things. So the tailor makes bags. Um, we want to craft more bags as well as bandages so we can keep um, seeds and things and bandages and things um, in there. And I've also, this stockpile here, I don't know if this, yeah, the birch crate doesn't actually have anything in it, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. We don't need that anymore, especially outside. It is going to be vulnerable. Um, is no one coming to build this? I guess they're doing some some other things. Our population should still be at 16. Yes, we haven't we haven't lost anyone since Everyday Ethan. Um, 
that was just a shocking day. Um, um, I just I can't say I can't say how sorry I am that that happened. But um, you know, he went into battle just just crazy. I don't think he was even a soldier, so he he got snuck up upon and he got smacked on the head. And um, sleazy unicorn, Mister Mister Sleazy Unicorn, is it this one or is it the one in Windbob's room? You know what? You know it can maybe all the statues can be sleazy unicorns because that's that's sometimes the way that things happen. Um, I need to cut down more logs as well uh, because I've run I'm com like completely run out of logs again. And I know that seems crazy because I seem to be cutting trees like every single episode, um, but it, it happens, you know, like it just, it just sneaks up on me and I'm like, uh oh, and then I need to cut down trees everywhere. And there's actually some trees up here that uh, I can't actually get to them. Let's cut down some of these birch trees up top. Um, and yeah, a couple from this side. And we also want to plant some more things. Um, also, we need to build, we need to build this wall. We need to actually make sure that I'm not being, okay, dirt clump um, underneath this this layer of, because I don't know, like it might collapse or it, it's just, it doesn't seem right to have like a, a gap there. I thought I could get away with it, but maybe it'll collapse one day and the farms will just be, you know, up in arms and, the, and the, everyone will just be like complaining and they'll just be like, what the hell, what the hell are you doing? We're gnomes, we do things in, in you know, the good measures, we don't do them in short measures and, and really crappy measures, um, but, you know, I guess that's just the way that some things happen, but, um, you know, what, oh, wait a minute, oh, oh, I understand why Mr. Okay, so Blair the Builder has actually gotten stuck up here um so maybe we could oh how do we get him down from there um this is this is an awkward situation um let's go ahead and and just build a ramp up to him ramp up or maybe stairs uh, i think ramps work just as fine um and we sh why can't we place that um oh i'm on the wrong i'm on the wrong layer am i wait a minute okay so we should be able to build this r what what? That block is free. What? Maybe it's a ramp down? What? What the? What the ringing phone? No need to worry about that phone call. It's all fine. It's all fine and dandy. Um, but this, this, this strange, strange thing that I've got going on here, I need to cancel some of these jobs and just get, get this guy down from here. I don't feel, I don't feel good. He might fall down. So let's go ahead and, and just build, build this ramp once again. And we will build this terrain ramp up. Okay, and that should be fine and dandy. There's no reason someone shouldn't build that. Um, I think some of our builders are just like off doing other things that are kind of crazy. Um, actually, Gus is actually one of our builders, but he can't get materials to to build that. So I hope someone else um, is available to do that. So we've got our weaponsmith up. I don't think it's created anything yet. No, we've got um, swords and hand axes queued up because we need a lot of... We need a lot of, of copper bars, and having said that, what's what's popping down here? Anything? Okay, so there's still some more copper. Let's go ahead and mine, mine some more of that out. We'll just do a little bit of a section. There's also another thing that I want to do, but I'm not completely sure how I should go about doing it right now, because I sort of need the mines to completely open, but I also need torches to be made, um, and I need to, be, to protect my people from from golems because um, you can get golems spawning in any dark area of your um, of your fortress in underground, especially underground, because um, you know golems like that sort of thing. So having said that, look at this look at this terrible terrible placement of no torches here. So let's say that I have you know no light here. Generally, you can get something spawning. So you wanna hmm is that what you, is that connected? Maybe it is. Let's let's go ahead and connect that. We'll just mine out. Leave leave some tasks for Mr. Windbob. He's he seems to be the chief miner and he's he's doing a lot of good things for the for the for the general for the general population. The sun has set. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, so we we have two soldiers on patrol. I should be able to build this final torch. But it's gonna take a while for that to actually get placed because we have so many torches um, to be placed around the whole area. Um, but sleeping people Sleepy times. So we have 240 food. I feel a lot better about that, and only 100 drink. I feel a little bit less better than that, but we're still we're still having some churned out and made and distilled and fermented and made beautiful. So we've got bandages being done. We've got bags being done. Um, yeah, I think I should actually. This is actually I think a tip that you can do. Um, you can remove the designation for this stockpile because it, there's no bags here. So that's sort of you know that's it's not very good. 
you sort of want to have bags um, on most of your stockpiles um, instead of them just sitting around and just being a bit stupid. So if we just designate the area once again to a stockpile and just make it a little bit... Um, actually, we should do it in just a little bit different area with the same um, with the same size. So we go goods and we want to have ba -ba 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 plants and it's going to be wheat. And hopefully, um, priority uh, 5, that'll be fine. Um, hopefully someone will move a, a sack there um, before, oh no, what are you guys doing, what are you guys doing, don't stop moving the, stop moving them there, oh, come on, what are you guys doing, Taylor, um, we need to make some more bags, craft some more bags, um, we need to go like everywhere, and also we do need to make more crates, and I don't think we need any more barrels, we do need more crates though for some, for some more raw materials, um, because actually having said that, our, Hmm, that's interesting. We should just go ahead and remove the designation for our our blocks of stone here and just redo it. So designate the area for a stockpile and hopefully one of the crea crates creates. Hopefully one of the, the crates will get placed here. Um, so we've got max containers of 29. That's actually way too many. We only want like maximum probably... I don't know. <laughs> let's just let's just leave it at that. I mean, I don't know if I want the whole thing filled with containers because that'll just hog up the containers um, and make it a bit make it a bit crazy. So let's go stone and the blocks. Okay. So raw stone still sitting here. Um, we need more crates, like pretty much everywhere. You can see these crates are um, like just full of what are these? What are these full of? Strawberries and delicious things and apples, which is just fantastic. Um, I don't know if we want. Do we want light for our for our beautiful Yaks? I think we, yeah, I think we do. So let's go ahead and build a, a torch for them, um, or place a torch. And I'll also make sure that the, the torches are being queued up in the carpenter. Um, they've all been made, so I made like a whole bunch. So let's, I don't want to keep it on repeat because I, I might forget about it. So we're going to make about, you know, 20 at least. Um, and what's this guy doing out here? He's just, is he, is he sleeping or is he, is he thinking about, oh my god, this person ha still hasn't gotten down yet. Um, okay, that's not, that's not good. So let's just, I actually had the game pause then, I just, I just had a little bit of a stupid moment then. But, I don't think, um, we have any, we have any builders that are actually, um, that are actually idle and they, and they want to do any of these jobs, which is a shame. Really is a shame. Um, is that, is that apple wood? Oh, apple wood. Makes me want to eat it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't think people can enter through this. W Actually, they might be. Able mm. Yeah, they can. Okay, so that's a bad. That that was a bad choice. We need to remove that ramp um, from from access. We do not want access through this side at all. We only want one side. Um, so if someone's going to come remove that ramp. Maybe maybe in your own sweet time. Um, it'll happen, and we haven't seen any no, any goblins or any or any creepy crawlies and um, evil nasty people. And we've actually had some some building being done here, which is nice. Um, so the builders are focusing on that, so they're not actually focusing on getting this second builder down, which is um, definitely a shame because he would just like help everything um, everything else go along with the plans. Okay, so where are you going? Whoa, where did you just jump in there? Did you just jump in like? through some crazy... what the... this little area, is this where they just got through? That doesn't make... it makes a little bit of sense, but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Hmm... oh, it's here! I need to cut down that tree. Okay, so let's agriculture and cut down this tree. I'll we'll just cut both of them down. Um, and then get that filled in with dirt, so... I should actually go around like the border. I think all the insides are gonna be fairly secure and... Some of these layers should be pretty secure because I um, I dug most of them, and I think I was having a bit of a bit of a think whilst I was doing that. Unless I wasn't, and then it's just going to be crazy times. Let's go to the terrain and and build a wall again. It's going to be stone, do 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 bauxite because we love our bauxite. And once that once that log gets removed, we're going to have that patched up. It's going to be fantastic. Um, ninety one drink. <laughs> The yak milk has been coming in though, so it's actually has been collected in a little bit because we've got like a ton of yak milk sitting around. Okay, so let's see, is, is there still being distilled? Yeah, they're still being distilled at pretty much like max. So what? Who is this um, Brainy the farmer? Let's see her skills. Is she? Is she? Yeah, is she actually a good? Let's go see. Um, 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 um. 
brewing. She's actually a seven at brewing. Hmm. We could like take um, brewing off of her and make someone else do it because she's not very good at it. And hopefully someone else will uh, take up the job and do it a bit quicker than her. So hopefully um, we get someone. Sun has risen, so we didn't actually get any attacks then, which is just fantastic. Um, that's amazing to see because no goblins. Um, oh, this has been built, okay. But can someone? Oh, what? Wait a minute. Oh, I placed that ramp. <laughs> didn't I place that ramp in the right um, in the right place? Oh god. Let's remove it now. Um, and then we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to re- You know what, let's just, let's just build stairs. Maybe he wants stairs, um, just for, for any old reason. And then he should be able to get down, once someone builds it for him. Um, I'm very sorry about leaving you up there. Was it Gus or was it Blair? It was, um, someone. It was Gus or Blair. I think it was Blair. Let's just go with that. Um, okay, so that breach, okay, the breach has been patched up over in that side and also lower down here, so that's good. Um, these guys look like they're holding fishing fishing rods. I don't know why I think that, but torches, torch, torch, torch. We get we've got crates being made. Um, hopefully one of the bags has been okay. So wheat, where are you taking that wheat? You're taking it to the beer. Um, we, yeah. So we've with the stockpile. Oh, look at that applewood, applewood crate. Mm -hmm, delicious. Um, stockpile. I think I want to. Oh, all of these containers keep going here. So let's just move the containers, max containers, down a bit to like five, which is how much there is now. So they get spread out a little bit more because otherwise it's going to be a bit. Blair passes out from exhaustion. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, so he didn't get to sleep. Um, let's go see where Blair is right now. I'm very sorry about that, man. I didn't even realize that you were stuck up there. So let's go to move. Um, so there is Blair. He's passed out. He's had some food to eat. Um, I think he should be okay. He probably won't die. Um, he's just being neglected for a little bit, and that sometimes happens. And I'm very sorry about that. But um, but yeah, hope you hope you forgive me. Blair passes out from exhaustion once again. Whoa, where did he? He should have gone to get a drink. Okay, so he's he's come to eat some strawberries. Um, he's passed out after that, and then he's run over to the to the drinks distillery um, to drink up some some beautiful stuff. And he's passed out again. So I think from exhaustion, it's it's pretty bad if you if you if a gnome gets left out. Um, okay, so let's see if the if the forge is actually okay. The forge is repeating bars. Let's go down and check. Oh, we do have some more some more beautiful copper in this wall. Um, but I'm starting to think it's it's a bit strange how golems aren't um, aren't spawning for us. Oh, there's a bit of coal in that wall there as well. Let's mine that out. Um, so I was thinking of of trying to fortify our our downstairs mine a little bit more because see these black areas. Um, whilst we don't have torches placed there, we might just have to um, block them off because we've already seen um, that there is there is like nothing in there. Um, so we can just block, oh, no, no, build terrain um, and just a wall. So we need to, we'll make stone walls, we've got a lot of stone. Um, actually, how much soil do we have? We have about the same amount of soil and we can't use it for anything else. So let's block in that area. Um, that's not accessible. Let's block in that. These two areas um, are pretty useless. If I'm totally honest with you. And then we'll block in that. Okay, so everyone's going to come down and start blocking these up. So it's going to be a lot harder for the golems to spawn. And see, downstairs it's actually a much worse situation. So I'm going to have to um, block off almost, almost all of these. They're all lit up. Okay, they're all fine. Um, up here, that's a, bit, that's a bit too dark. There's a bit too dark as well. Um, but but the thing is, once you've mined through this whole section, you don't need to use it again, like really, until um, you get it lit up and, and much safer for all the for all the gnomey gnomes. Because we may as well just go and cancel all these all these jobs in here because these torches are never going to get built, never. That's a that's a shame. But um, sometimes things things don't work out the way you want them. Okay, so that I think that's going to be the end of this episode because we did some we did some really good sorting out. Um, Actually, I forgot to mention right before I end, I actually um, made this stockpile into the new into the new wood. So we can see we've got our new wood um, log log planks, and um, they're being processed so quickly um, or moved in very slowly. Um, it, it's one of those. It's probably a little bit of both. Um, that, there's no actual logs there, but we've moved almost everything except for the farms. Um, 
much closer and much more fortified inside of inside of our beautiful fortress or our kingdom, whichever you want to call it. I think Blair is like completely passed out. He's completely exhausted. So on that note, um, this episode, Blair was working his ass off. Um, he was stuck. He was stuck high above everything else. He couldn't jump down because his his tiny little legs were probably going to break like jelly. Um, I really hope he gets some sleep soon in his actual bed. So um, my name is Ninja Derpifier. The Grizzly Inkling salutes you every single time and welcomes you back in the next episode. Goodbye.